Luke and Becca here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and we're taking our family on a nine day adventure in the Southwest United States. We're gonna be hiking in the snow, exploring caves, discovering ancient ruins, destroying cars with excavators, off-roading through the desert, camping, and so much more. All right, guys, we're in Salt Lake City, Utah. We've got the whole crew in the car here, and we're going to drive about three hours south to Moab, Utah. You guys ready? Yay! Yeah! Oh, all right, hands. let's do it. Jazz hands! Jazz hands! Well, okay, we're just a little north of Moab. And we're going to see if we can't find some fossilized dinosaur footprints. I got a pocket creeper. Okay, oh, look, right there, right by his... There's the foot. Yeah. There's the foot, and he drags the tail behind it. Oh, That's yeah, you can totally see crazy. him. Looks like a big, huge bird just walked through the it's mud. A, there's yeah, there's the dinosaur theropod oh, track. It's, it's a tight. theropod because it has three toes. <laughs> Thanks, Dino Dana. Irene Serapis? Early Cretaceous. Yeah, you can see right there, there. There's the large raft. Ankylosaurus. See it right there. See? Brontopodus. They look like huge depressions. Like you can see where the mud squished really good. Isn't this neat? Just kind of sit there on the side of the road. This is so cool. This is like the raptor that. That's really good for it, friends. Phew, that thing had really long strides. Dromaeosaurus tracks. Ooh, it's got the big claw on it. Oh, that's cool. Ugh. You guys ready to go find some dinosaur bones? A seropod bone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See right here? That's the vertebrae. Hey guys, you want to know how a dinosaur takes a selfie? He used a camerasaurus. Ah. There's the leg bone of the camerasaurus. See, there's another piece right up there. You can see it? Those are the vertebrae right there. There's a couple of vertebrae. That looks like some fossil right there. Oh, look at this. You can, this is totally bone right here. See right there? That is totally bone right there. Right there, look at this whole layer of it. You can see where a bone used to be right here and it got pulled out. Hey, check this out. I think this is petrified wood. You can kind of see the grain and it just looks like a rotten log. Right, you're going to film me until So apparently these are the ruins of an old coffer mill. Some old, old tin cans. I think this is the coal they used to smelt the copper. Oh yeah, I can see them. The indigenous people that lived here thousands of years ago, like the Anasazi and stuff, would go up and do little graffiti writings up on the rocks. There's the mountain goat right there. Little people they've drawn. All right, let's keep going. There's more to see. So there's a rock right up there that has some dinosaur footprints you can make out. And then up there, right along the bottom of the cliff, there's some petroglyphs. Ah, oh, I made it. It's a theropod footprint right there. And there's another one right there. Hey, there's Bob and the boys. Hi, <sighs> Welcome to Monticello, Utah. We rented ourselves a little house here. We're gonna use it as a home base as we explore the surrounding areas. Kids are having a great time already. Let's go out to dinner. Uh, Open. Whoa, look at that. That was really good. Nope. Well, tomorrow I'm going on a bit of a hike to go explore an abandoned Native American city. I'm uh, pretty excited about that. So uh, I'm gonna get packed. Yeah. 
All right, guys, it's late. We got little kids. We need to get to bed. I'm going to see you guys in the morning. How'd you sleep, Jake? Do you like your sleeping bag? Well, if you guys get up and get dressed, we'll get you donuts. All right, everybody in the car. <laughs> We're gonna stop at a local market and get some breakfast. Oh, these donuts are warm. Here we grab a donut. Here, you got the box? <laughs> Give me kisses. I love you guys. Will you be good for mama? Yeah. I'm gonna be doing an 11 and a half mile hike through a series of canyons. And rumor has it that there's dozens of untouched ancient Native American archeological sites in this canyon, which we can explore. Oh, check it out. There's some ruins right there. So this is the dwelling homes of the Anasazi Indians. The Anasazis would find these outcroppings under these cliffs and they would build their homes here. They'd take this flat stone that's everywhere and stack it up and put mud in between it and build homes out of it. They'd take these cedar beams and sticks, lay them in a crisscross pattern with mud over the top. And there you go, you've got a cozy little home. A lot of these structures like this one, were granaries and they would take the surplus food and preserve it and put it in here and then they would wall it all up and they'd just fill this up with rocks and then the animals couldn't get to it. Look at this. There's a little piece of pottery right here. This could be a thousand years old. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right back. Now this looks more like a building because there's like a window and a door. Whoa, that's cool. This is just amazing. This has been here for hundreds of years and nobody's managed to destroy it or fence it off. Oh, peace. Oh, this is cool. Hey, look at this. Look what I found. This is the center of the Indian corn cob. Look at that. I just leave that right there. Pieces of charcoal left over from their campfires here. That is cool. Well, that was way cool, but we've got a lot of ground to cover and a lot more cool stuff to explore. Oh, oh that's steep. Oh. Ow. Ow, that hurt. Oh, yeah, nice little cactus thorn right in the top of my foot. Already pulled a few thorns out of my legs. Ah, it's so cool. Tell you what, this place is deserted. I haven't seen a single person all day. Check it out, there's some more ruins up there. I'm taking my backpack off for this one. I think there used to be a pretty good sized set of ruins here and these rocks broke off the cliff face and smashed it. Look at this. Oh, look at this, there's a whole bunch more right down there. Oh, wow. Look at it, Anasazi Indians drew this. Look at all these drawings. These might be as much as 2,000 years old. Look at the little handprints they did. Look at that. Wonder what the rhyme and reason to this artwork is. I mean, these figures don't have heads, but this one's got nipples. Check out these corn cobs. The Anasazis would grow corn and store it here. That's hundreds of years old. I was reading up a little bit on the history of this place before coming here. And apparently while the last known occupants of this place are around 1200 AD, there's been people that were been here for thousands of years prior to that. You see all these big rocks that have fallen down? I bet there was a huge ledge that was all along here because look, there's paintings all the way up there. I have got to get going. I am not making very good time because I keep stopping and exploring all the time. Oh. 
I wonder how many of these things have walked right past. Look at all these canyon walls up here. There could be a whole cities hiding up there that I just missed. Oh. Ah. Oh. Whoa. That was graceful. Sun sets in two and a half hours, and I'm about a quarter of the way through the hike. I have stopped and smelled the roses a bit too much. There are so many interesting things to see, so I need to keep my head down and make some tracks. Right up there in the cliffs, I can see some more ruins. Oh, just don't have enough time. Hey, look, a tumbleweed. Ah, I can see some more ruins in a cave up there. Look at that, that is really in good shape. That is so cool, but I have got to get going. I know there's a storm coming tonight and I can feel it in the wind now. Check it out, I can see some ruins and petroglyphs up there. I can't need to go check them out. Look at this. Look at this. Got a little window on it. Look at this. See a bunch of sticks they put up vertically together and caked it with mud. That's cool. Look at this. Another little bit of pottery. That is so cool. Shards of pottery. See where they kind of made a cool pattern on one side and it's smooth and concave? I'm glad I made time for this one, but I've got to keep going. We need to make some tracks before sunset. There's another set of ruins up here. This one's really special. Look at this. Look at that piece of pottery. That is so cool. Look at all of these. Look at all these pieces of pottery. Look at this. You get a much better feel for what these houses looked like when they were intact. It's got the headlight out. Let's see. We got like a little fireplace right here in the middle. You got a little smoke hole at the top. Shelf to put stuff. Oh. I think we gotta do it. I think we gotta go down here. All right. Oh. oh. Ooh, I think that's a lot of pack rat urine and poo. That's really gross. And they've got these logs supporting the roof. And all this grass and stuff in between. And check it out, they've got a little hole to let air in when you have a fire down here. Oh, we gotta move fast. All right, looks like we gotta climb up some rocks. I've done about four miles since sunset. And now I'm just climbing out of the canyon. Just one last push, I'll get up on the plateau, and then I'm gonna find a spot I can camp. All right, I made it, and I found a nice flat spot. You know, I was feeling pretty warm until I stopped moving. I think it's time to make some warm dinner. Oh, I've been looking forward to a hot meal all day. That hit the spot. Oh, my shoulders are sore from holding that backpack. But man, I want to go to sleep. And uh, then call it a night. Yeah. Ooh. 
Good morning. Oh. Eating a cup of moderately warm instant oatmeal on a winter camp out. <laughs> this reminds me of camping as a kid so much. It's really not that good. <laughs> Uh, we got camp broke down. Now we need to go find the path. It's somewhere over here, but you can see with the snow it makes things tricky. I made it. And most importantly, I didn't keep my wife waiting. Whew. Yay, you're safe. Ooh. I'm safe. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I... Hey boys, how you doing? Yay. I'm oh. glad you're driving. Though. Oh, it feels good to sit down. Alright guys, should we get up to lunch? Oh, my legs. So, Becca, that's the honey chicken pizza? Mm -hmm. It's good. <laughs> hey, Jake, you like your pizza? Okay, okay. Oh, All right, we're at Arches National Park, just a little bit north of Moab, Utah. We're gonna see some arches. Card here. Ah, hello. hello. If you like big, pretty rocks that are in funny shapes, Arches National Park's the place to go. Me and Tommy were here at Arches National Park not too long ago. Is that right, Tom? Yeah, I remember this scene. Me and Tommy hiked and camped every national park in Utah and did a video about it. But this is the first time for you guys, isn't it? The national parks in Utah can be incredibly crowded in the peak seasons, but you come here in the winter, man, you got the place to yourself. Ooh, pretty. This is double arch. Well guys, this is a place called the Windows and this right here is double arch because there are two arches. Yeah, it's a lot sketchier getting down than up. <laughs> Got this? You good? Yeah, there you go. Ooh, this is sketchy. Let's go down to Mama. She's been waiting very patiently. You need any help? No. No? Alright, you got it. Long legs. <laughs> ah, I beat you! Well, we only have about an hour before sunset, so let's keep moving and see what else is in the park. Alright guys, we've got another little hike here. Who wants to go on a hike? Who wants to stay in the car? Me! 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 Okay, I'll stay with the party poopers. Here, here's the map and a GoPro. <laughs> what? Look at all those poop hey, Who's coming with me? Who wants me? to go with mom? So it comes to being cold or being left alone with dad, they all know which one they'd rather do. I want daddy to come too. I'll come too, yeah. No! Right. You guys find some diarrhea? All right, so this is a hike called the Devil's Garden, and we're going to go to Pine Tree Art. Come on, just do it like Nathan did. No way. <laughs> hey, babe, what do you think? Has this been fun? Love it. So you head back to the car? You need, you need help? I'm doing so. Okay. Well, the sun's setting. I think it's time to head back to the house. All right, guys, we're back at the house. We got a whole bunch of Thai food. I am looking forward to just hanging out, eating food, and doing nothing. 
Well guys, I'm exhausted and I've got a mango curry with my name on it. So I'm gonna put up this camera and I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning. Today is a very special day. What day is it? Waffle day! You were five. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, happy birthday, buddy. All right, let's go to Monument Valley. We're four by fouring through the snow in the desert. Is this crazy? Yeah. <laughs> Becca's showing off her superpowers. Go, 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 go. Check it out guys, it's Bluff Fort. Alright guys, we're just here in Bluff, Utah, and there's an old military fort we're going to check out. Oh, now say thank you. Say thank you. Well, look at that. That is, that is a diet cone right there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so this is the Bluff Fort Museum. The descendants of the pioneers who made this fort bought the land and rebuilt the fort. And it's just a free museum on the side of the road. You're in the wagon? Here, let me hold this for you. Thomas, you want to see two butts? And Joseph yes. Christensen was dispatched for There's the butts. An amateur surgeon. Is this a, is this a pretty slick uh, camp setup? So, that's a cooking pot, not a chamber pot. <laughs> yeah, is that a big kettle? A statue of a nine-year-old girl and a five-year-old boy who traveled from Denmark to emigrate with the pioneers. And so apparently their parents couldn't afford to come with them, so they went by themselves. That's like Tommy and Jacob traveling from Denmark all the way to here in the deserts by themselves. That's insane. Why did the family just stop? Oh, look at these log cabins. They would take two small pieces, cut them angly, and then put a dowel through it. See, so they got logs and straw up on the roof. Howdy, howdy, howdy. My legs are sore. Hey there. <laughs> How did you do that? You like smoke. Yeah, that was kind of a cool little museum. That was neat. We're on the land of the Navajo Nation now. Apparently we're driving down the road where they filmed a scene from Forrest Gump. I had run for three years. So we're here at Monument Valley in the Navajo Nation. Now apparently if you just want to drive through, I think you can pay to get in. But if you want to get out of your car and actually explore it, you need a guide. For most of the natural wonders on the Navajo Reservation, you can't just go out and explore it. You have to have a local certified guide go with you. You got to be babysat. Alright, so this is Monument Valley. This is where the Wiley e. Coyote Roadrunner cartoons were filmed. Dad joke. What do I believe? What makes me feel it to write you this song? Cool, right? Yeah, it's cool. It's bigger than I thought. Yeah, it was a lot bigger than I thought. That took about what, an hour and a half to go all the way around. I'm starved. You guys want to get some food? Yeah. All right, let's get some food. All right, we'll board. Look at that. That is a massive slab of Navajo flatbread with a bunch of sandwich stuff in there. That's gonna be good. That is a big Navajo taco there. If you guys like deep fried bread, you're gonna like this. Well, I'm really full. That is that is huge. 
Apparently over there is John Wade's cabin from the movie Stagecoach, yay. All right guys, welcome to Arizona, yay. Well, Jake, is it your birthday today? Yes! Is it time to open up a present? Yes! yes. Open it up. Yes. Oh, just come here. It's a shark sleeping bag. Nom, 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 nom. I can steal a lot of food. Yeah, you're fighting the shark, fight the shark. You need to put on some party hats. I'm, I'm, I'm not the little steamboat. Ah! Happy birthday, dear Jacob! Blood out! Yay! Okay, who wants some surprise color cake? Oh. All right, guys, it's time to party like it's 1999. Woo! What? Happy birthday, my big five-year-old. All right, hop to bed, guys. Well, we've had a wild party, but it's late. I'm putting up the camera. I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, I woke up this morning to find my bed empty and the next bag it empty turns out everybody was partying over here <laughs> you guys got some serious mama snuggles it going on over. hey jacob jacob yeah. are you gonna wear a birthday hat to do yeah. breakfast okay what are you put on a second birthday hat <laughs> just in case the first one falls off or <laughs> there you go. Go sit it. everyone eat as much as you want pack your bags we got places to go Lake Powell, guys. Yeah. Wow, that is way, way down. down. The water level looks like 60 feet low. I know they're having serious droughts. Look at the size of that thing. Well, we left Page, Arizona, and we're headed west towards Kanab, Utah. <laughs> All right, we gotta get some gas here. Oh, look what I saw at the gas station. It's a gummy snake. Look, it's as long as my arm. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, <it's long. laughs> Have a snake head. Ow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really chewy? Huh? Like chewing hard candy. <laughs> 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 okay. Hold on. All right, welcome to Kanab. See up there in the cliffs? That's the caves we're trying to get to. All right, we'll see if we can get the kids up there. All right, looks like it's gonna be a little bit slick. Mom and Jake are gonna stay back here. If you can go see summer going up above. Okay, you see how you got this little lip? Gotta switch up to it, you got it. Hi, Mom! If this was warm, dry weather, this path would be pretty simple, but it's the ice really makes it complicated. Yeah, oh, look at this. Let's just go explore. Okay. Like, hey, Rebecca! Look, there's Mama down there. Hi, Vega. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Oh. Why you owe me crying, Tom? Look at this. This hole goes back there. For... Yeah, there's a little cave within the cave. It's a... Stay next to the wall. Keep walking. I, I know. Tommy, and then like the accent. It's just you and my beauty. Okay. 
You guys ready to go inside the dragon's belly? Yeah, you can go. That's a nice spot where you're going. Well, since it was cold and rainy, we decided to explore a few more caves. And uh, so this is the dragon's belly. We're gonna check it out. A lot of names scratched into the side of this little tunnel. Check it out, people have been scratching their names into the walls of this thing forever. It's all names upon names. Well, it's not a bad activity when it's raining. Yeah, no, this is easy. Oh! Is that a cool little cave? Cool. Who wants to check out a slide canyon? Me. Who does not want to go hiking? Me. Come on, Dom. Oh. Southern Utah and Northern Arizona are just full of hundreds of canyons to explore, including that one right down there. That's Elkhart Cliffs Canyon. You gotta go all the way down and around. Coming back up is gonna be a beast. This is gonna be really unpleasant going back up. This canyon is what we call a slot canyon. They're super cool, but if they ever fill with rain, they become a death trap. Flash floods are a real issue. Back. Nowhere. <laughs> the water would take you. And then you, if you, cool. holy. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's the work. Okay. okay. And then. Ah. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, you gonna get up? All right, Tom. Uh, whew. The water, when it comes through here, is so powerful, it pushed this rock into that spot. Yeah, will you put it right there? And stand up. I'm so glad I came. This is so cool. I'm a little nervous on how we're going to get back. Whoa. That was pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Uh. We should probably not leave mom alone with the kids for too long, huh? Yeah. All right, let's head back. Woo! Okay, you gotta slide. Oh, okay. Too much speed? Yeah, you got it. Holy smokes! Does that work? Just... High fives. Wait. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> Now, if this is something you want to do, there are dozens of guides and tours around the area that'll take you into these slot canyons with all the equipment and everything. That's something I highly recommend if you get a chance. It has been tried. <sighs> Wait, am I? All right, me and Nathan are here at Coral Pink Sand Dunes State Park in Utah, and we're gonna check out the massive pink sand dunes, the largest sand dunes in Utah. That's the Coral Pink Sand Dunes. Aw. Oh, well, apparently you can rent sand boards and sand sleds and go and sled down the sand dunes, but we decided to come in the middle of a freak snowstorm. Nathan's bummed. He was really looking forward to the sand sled. That's nice. That is more than enough. Look at that. Lava! I don't have a clue what's up here. 
We're all settled in. We ordered some food, gonna have it delivered. And we're taking it easy and it feels magnificent. It is not a bad way to end a long week, isn't it? Oh, I love you, baby. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> You're missing a tooth. Right here. I wrapped it up in this. Did mom hit you? No. I yeeted it out of my face. Nathan, Jacob, come down for breakfast. All right, guys. You want to go swimming? Yay! It's like 45 degrees out. We're going swimming. <laughs> nope, there you go. Yeah, that's warm. That's really warm. So this is the heated pool that they use in the wintertime. But check this out. This is the pool they use in the summer. This thing is massive. It's like the size of a couple city blocks. But I think the boys are content to just be in a warm pool. Ah! Nice catch. Hey guys, was that fun? There you go, bud. All right, guys, come on, get your shoes, get your coats, we're leaving, go, go, go. Well, today is New Year's Eve, and we are going to visit some friends. This is... You have arrived. Hi. <laughs> we're celebrating New Year's with the MacArthur family, who are very good and old friends of ours. 25 years ago to the day, I landed in Japan to serve two years as a missionary for my church there. And the MacArthur's were my mission presidents. It's great to meet some old friends and celebrate the, the holiday with them. And the kids are absolutely having a ball. Hey guys, you want, you want to roast some marshmallows? I'm gonna roast this. Mm. You guys having a good new year? Yeah! yeah! Pool party! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Oh my goodness. Oh, that was quite a party, Becca. I'm, I'm a little tired. Oh, well, we're just slowly getting up and getting dressed and getting the troops off to church. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, we're headed to church. It's late. I'm putting the camera down. I'll see you in a little bit. All right. Well, everyone at church was asking us where we're from, and Jacob says, we're from America. That must mean we've been traveling internationally a bit. <laughs> just going back to our friend's house to have dinner and just spend a low-key Sunday. Hey. Well, you guys throw the most insane parties. I got to tell you what. Well, thank you guys. We'll see you. You're welcome. And make sure to come up to Alaska and say hi, okay? Yeah. Uh, thank you. Okay. Love you very much. It's been a great joy to have you. It's been wonderful. Africa. Well, good morning. It's a beautiful day, and we're checking out of our little condo here. All right. All right, we're leaving St. George and heading into the deserts of Nevada. We're going to be doing some 4 by 4 in and exploring, and we're going camping tonight. All right, guys, welcome to Nevada. We are in the Moave Desert. This is the largest desert in North America. It's a cactus. Oh. I think that that comes from that plant. Uh -huh. It's a piece of cactus wood. Check it out. That's a Joshua tree. Where the streets have no name.
We're just driving on this wash. We see these petroglyphs up there. It's like a little lizard and a man and some other things. You guys want to ride in the bed? Yeah. Oh, that's... Well, check it out. I think this is a rock formation called Little Finland. All right, guys, you ready to keep going exploring? Yeah! All right, let's do it. So we're looking for seven keyhole slot canyon. We're gonna go try check that out. Should be somewhere in this rock formation. <laughs> Look up at the rocks, there might be some petroglyphs up here. See right up there, there's just a little patch of them right there on the dark stuff. Whoa. Lots of petroglyphs right in here. Look at that. There's even more over here. Does it look deadly? Well then it's it. Oh, yep, yeah, look at this. So this is seven keyhole slot canyon. Check it out. So apparently there's seven keyholes. Can you guys find all seven? Uh, there's fine. two right there. Back, I need a three. They can test your DNA. Look at this. Tom, look at this. Is this cool? What do you think, babe? Is this cool? This is very cool. Yeah. It's kind of one of the few chances to go check out a slot canyon without tons of people around yeah. and it's right by the road. Yes. Petroglyph right there. Oh, yeah. yeah good eye. Oh, yeah. Look, someone did a, like, a little foot there. I wonder what's down in this dark cave. Ah! Oh! Terrifying. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Somebody scratched something into the wall right there. Yeah, you can see this. This looks like a bug. Right yeah, there. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty. It is a flower. I can, I can see it, yeah. Thousands of years ago, bored teenagers graffitied this cave. Now it's history and art. Oh, look at that. There's a bird nest. I've been trying to tell you that. Where's the one? Oh, 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 <laughs> burn. It's, it's a nice little hut. Yeah, it is a nice little hut. Go show the brother. Anakin, I got the high ground. Well, guys, should we get back to the car before it gets dark and we lose yeah. the path? We don't want to get lost in the desert. It's hard to see, but there's a canyon behind that big rock and another canyon over there. Oh, I think we could spend days exploring this and have a great time doing it. Good job. What do you think, Tom? I think this might be a decent camp spot. Pull those rocks out, make a fire pit. Here, Tom, will you help with the wood? Cover that. Yeah. Step on your boot and there you go. Here I got my knife. I undo all the plastic on all of this wood. Just be really careful and make sure no one's around you. Yeah, I know. What do you think, Bob? Is this nice? It's very nice. Watch out, Jake. Really good temperature. Just cut it like that. There you go. So let's start laying down pieces of bread. That's it. It's over there. It's really quick. 
All right, I'm heating up some chicken noodle soup. I'm cooking grilled cheese sandwiches. We're gonna have a good dinner tonight. Oh, these are perfect. Ooh. Hey, grab a plate. Grab. There's a big pile of pl plate. Plate. Put it on a plate. Jake, do you need? Is it called ladle? Oh, hey, you got that? So the ladle is like. There you go. What do you think? You like the grilled cheese sandwich and soup? Mm -hmm. Pretty good, huh? Becky, you look adorable eating that. <laughs> You're sweet. <laughs> it's so good and nice and warm. Makita grilled cheese sandwich, lots of butter, lots of cheese. Mm. What you got there, babe? <gasps> it's a Madeline dipped in hot apple cider and it looks so good. Sweet Madeline. Dum, bum, bum. Hey, Jacob, you want a marshmallow? <laughs> They're a strawberry flavored oh, marshmallow that's straight, shaped like a strawberry. Hey. Oh, now mine's on fire too. Oh, you can hear that crunch on that shell. You like that, Nathan? Mm -hmm. You want a sword, Jake? <laughs> okay, we're gonna put a marshmallow stick in a cup. There you go. There's your, there's your fencing foil. That's what. Yeah. The three musketeers. Oh, this. I eat it. I eat it. We gotta get you guys ready for bed. Oh. <laughs> There you go, right there in the chest. Rubbed off. Uh, you see yeah. the oh I found this at the store and I bought it for Becca. It's a lap warmer. Lasts up to eight hours and the thing weighs about a pound. It's like the equivalent of like 10 hand warmers. So I'm gonna throw this in her sleeping bag tonight. It's not that cold tonight. It's cold. <laughs> it's 40 degrees. <laughs> but I think everybody will be warm tonight. I think I think we'll keep everybody toasty. Are you gonna get on down in there? There you go. There. You got a toe warmer on your butt. <laughs> That'll keep your crack warm. <laughs> well, it would. <laughs> Just sitting here brushing my teeth, I can see a little kangaroo rat or something peeking out at us. Yeah. See, see the long, long tail? Oh, aren't they cute? They're so fluffy. Oh, there he is. Went in a little burrow over there. Those things are really cute. They're just little puff balls with these super long tails and these big hind legs. And they just kind of go bounce, 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 bounce. Oh, I got two liters of boiling water here. We're gonna put this in Becca's bag. Hey, Thomas, what? put that inside your sleeping bag. Ooh. Here you go, put it, put it inside your sleeping bag. Are you warm in there? Okay. You're like a trap door spider. <laughs> All right, buddy, I'll see you in the morning. Well, me and Becca got the kids to bed and it's a couple hours before our bedtime and we're just hanging out here by the fire, listening to audiobooks and chatting and it's just a wonderful night. I'm just grateful it's not raining and it's above freezing. Those are just two big things for me. I'm just glad that we got that. So unnecessary words when dealing all right, Becca, is it time for the massive hand warmer? Yes, please. <laughs> look, look at that. Oh. Hold it by the corners up. <laughs> it's enormous. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Should we go hit the sack? Sure. Let's do it. Here we oh, go, Becca. That'll do. It's a seal. It's cute. <laughs> Well, we talked back in. We're gonna see if she can survive the night. Uh, I'm gonna put the camera up, and we're gonna see you guys in the morning. Hey, baby, you sleep okay? Oh, I was warm all night. I did not sleep well. It was very windy. About an hour and a half after we went to bed, this wind and rainstorm came in, and it just about flattened the tent. I heard the lid to our pot get blown through the air and down the hill. Get up and start getting some breakfast made. <sighs> yeah, well, we want that back. Oh, 
Is it Jacob awake? <laughs> yeah. See how the boys are doing. Hey, you okay? Oh, boys are alive and well. Becca's getting out of the tent. Got to get her hot apple cider ready. Good morning, Mama. Do you like a plate and some hot apple cider? Yes. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Oops. Here's Mama's plate. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Uh, here's. <gasps> Here's some cutlery, oh. and there is your hot apple cider. I poured it a little while ago, so it might be getting close to the right temp. Oh, thank you. That's gorgeous. That's amazing. Why don't you guys come out? There's French toast and bacon waiting for everybody. Maybe Maple syrup. You are, I don't mind if we do, right? Whipped cream. There we go. Over your mouth. We're just about finishing up breakfast and uh, it's starting to rain on us again. We've been traveling the southwest for eight days now and all but one of those days we have been snowed on or rained on. All these rumors you hear about the desert being hot and dry completely false. Very wet and cold. Well, I think we better get in the car because we've got a long way to 4x4 and we've got to go to Las Vegas so Becca can destroy a car with a backhoe. It's on the to-do list today. <laughs> it's on the to-do list. You guys ready to do this? Yeah! This is where I dig this, just a little south of Las Vegas, and uh, we're gonna do a little heavy equipment party here and let all the boys try operating heavy equipment. There, my name's Phil. Hi, Phil. Yeah. You, <laughs> are you excited, Jake? One, two, three. I got this. You do it a lot. Get the controls. You can reach them, bud. Get some power, guys. Yeah. yeah, there we go. You ready, Jake? Yeah. Right. Like this and this. Very nice, Chris. Okay, right joystick, left, like you're eating something gorgeous. Like your first bucket. <laughs> you just did your first bucket in the backhoe. Is that cool? Yeah. By myself. I know. Cool. Yes. Yeah, you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I'll tell you what, Jacob was an absolute natural at the backhoe. He did really good. So right now, Tommy and Nate are in the skid steers and they're just knocking over tires and stacking them up. The whole family has a radio set so we can hear what's going on over there. Go, go, keep going. Set in the tire. Stop. All right, there we go. Good job. Oh yeah, perfect, buddy. I'll give you a high five. All right, guys, so next, Becca's going to get to destroy a minivan with a backhoe. <laughs> Be careful guys, try not to get it on. 
Nice job. There we go. This is the pirate car now. Buggers. Oh, the platform of destruction. You ready to watch mom destroy a car? This is going to be awesome. Mom, 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 mom. Jake, what do you think of this? You look great, babe. Oh, thanks. That was fun. I learned a life skill. Becca got a souvenir off the antenna of the car there. You you <laughs> keep that. Don't let the boys take that from oh, you. Yeah, guys, mm -hmm. let's go up by the table. Yeah. Where's Thomas at? Right Yay. here. <laughs> you want you want to get a plaque to put in your room, Nate? That's yeah. Great. Becca, was that fun? That was so fun. Oh, you were so cute doing that. Oh, <laughs> Those guys were so good with the kids. Listen, if you guys want to do this too, check out Dig This in Las Vegas. I'll put a link to their website in the video description below. All right, Becca, shall we head back to Salt Lake? Let's head back to Salt Lake. Let's head back to Salt Lake. Has this been a good trip? Yeah. Yeah, this has. I'm glad we did this together. Well, we made it to Salt Lake and everyone's safe and sound and we have had a wonderful trip. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more of our travel adventures, make sure to check out our travel adventure playlist. We have videos from travel all over the world. And if you enjoy this type of video, make sure to click subscribe to the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.